My time at Columbia has been very important to me, both personally and professionally. Professionally, it's been a big challenge and a big privilege. I'm proud of being in the line of presidents of Columbia Theological Seminary. The day that the board announced that she had been voted as the next president of Columbia Seminary, I remember when she walked in the room just feeling this real hope and anticipation that she was going to bring all of her many well-proven skills, her energy, her joy, and that she would bring that and serve us very well and very faithfully for many years to come. One of the things I'll share about working with Leanne is how interested she has been in me as a person and a friend and a pastor. And I think that's pretty incredible for as much as she has on her plate, that as a board member, she takes that interest. Working with President Van Dyke is fun. She and I have developed a wonderful friendship and a personal relationship, and that's key to having the kind of partnership that you need between the president of the seminary and the board chair. She's the kind of leader, though, who is going to find uh, lots of new ways to contribute. She's an artist, a beautiful musician. I believe that's going to take a higher place in her life than it has over these last years where she's been leading and serving in these ways. So I believe that her soul will be refreshed by some of those things. I've come to know her and her love for her family and the way that she is committed to her colleagues and how loyal she is. And so I've got a really special spot in my heart for Leanne. So one of the things we've enjoyed as trustees is the hospitality. That on Monday night at the board meeting, we always go over to the president's home for dinner. We have a happy hour and a nice meal and stand around and, and on the back patio and, and talk for hours. I love the times that I've been able to open this home to guests. So Christmas parties where faculty and staff are here and we play goofy games and we give out goofy prizes. The board of trustees who come here after a hard day of work and are able to really just enjoy each other. I've really appreciated the hospitality of Leanne at, at the President's Home, uh, but also just her joy in, in that time of welcoming people to her space and getting to know people on a different level than the board meeting. And that's been, that's been a, a fun part of being a trustee. One of my favorite recent memories of President Van Dyke occurred at her home. She was standing up on a little wall in her patio area and just scanning the whole crowd, just with this huge smile on her face. And she said, I just need to savor this moment and just look at your faces because it's been so long since we have been able to gather together in this way. I, I've always known that Leanne was a strong person, um, but as we've grown in our relationship over the past seven years, I'm just amazed at, at her resilience. To see the challenges that she has taken on uh, without reservation and how she's processed those challenges towards a goal of what is the best gain for all stakeholders has been something I've taken note of and becomes part of, I hope, my way of engaging and leading. To keep showing up, to keep doing the work, to keep transforming, and, uh, and to keep growing, you know, in the midst of all of what it means to be a seminary president, which I have. I've seen her do that, and I, th I, th I think that's a work of grace. How has this experience impacted me? Sitting where I am today, I know that I've grown and stretched and I hope serve well. But uh, those questions I think I'm gonna continue to unpack as I uh, look back on these years.